everyone so today i'm gonna do a pen test on the magic of eye astrological 2020 planner um, i had one direct request for this and i was thinking about doing this after another comment i had another video so i thought i would just do it so you guys can see i have a ton of different pens here some i actually got for christmas and so we're just gonna start i'm gonna go over to the notes page because i probably won't be using those that much so the page I'm using is the second to last note page and we'll just start with whatever I grab honestly. So this one is the Papermate Flare Medium. This one is a friction erasable pen. This friction pen is actually a gel pen which is why I decided to use it for this. And what I'm doing here is I'm writing what it is. I am doing three lines, one kind of progressively getting a little harder on to the paper, and then a scribble out. This one is a Paper Mate Ink Joy. And as you can tell, I don't have pretty writing. So there's that, <laughs> but let's just continue. This one's a Crayola Super Tip. And this one is a Tombow, uh, is this the hard one? I actually don't know. One's a harder tip and one's a softer tip. I think the green one is harder. So I found out by writing with them that this one is harder. These were Christmas presents, so I was not sure. And I obviously don't know how to worry with them yet. I'm taking a hand a lettering class in January, which is why I got these pens. Now I'm going to do some microns. This one is a micron 0.1. This one is a micron point three. And this one is a micron point five. And lastly is going to be this dual tip or twin tip um, Sharpie. It's actually a navy, so it's not a black. I can't find my black one for some reason. So let's do the fine tip first. And then the regular tip. I hate writing in Sharpie and um, planners like this. I know this is gonna go through. I can feel it. <laughs> All right, so let's flip over and I will you know, let you know if I see something different than the camera scene. So that's the other side. I would say all of them came through, um, at least ghosting. The, yeah, <laughs> all of them came through. I can show you how it looks like with a pencil as well, um, which is what I mainly used last time. And also, um, what else have I used? There's another pen I've used here before. Now grab those in a second. Um, these are just the ones that I know are, are a little popular. So the Sharpie is completely through, the both, both of them. The Crayola Super Tip is bleeding through a little bit, but all of them ghost. I would say there is like not one that doesn't. And I believe you can see all of them on camera. The one you probably can't see as much is probably some of the lines, but I can definitely see them in person. And then let me grab another type of pen to show you, or pencil. I'd say the friction is probably the least amount but let me just continue with other ways to write in here. I also write hard, so that may be a problem. I don't write too hard, but I can write really hard. 
this is a point. I don't actually know. Might be a point seven. Honestly, most of the time, I think in my little one, I wrote in pencil just because I'm a pencil person. I'll also do smear tests in a second because I think I actually just smeared this. Oh, no, that, that's my dose already there. Um, let me see how it looks on the other side. Then I'll try another pen, too. You don't really see it. It's like you, if you press the page down, you'll see it. <laughs> Very little. Yeah, you can kind of see what I see. I would see the camera's pretty very close to what I see. Just grab this pen. I have no idea what this pen is. It's just, it's just a regular pen. It's just a regular, I think, ballpoint. It's kind of the same, depending on how much, how hard you write on it, it's kind of the same as a pencil. I would say a ballpoint is probably the safest. If you don't write hard, if you write hard, you kind of can feel it. So let me write a little nicer. This is not helping because this pen does not work. Let me find another pen. As I was trying to borrow Jason's pen, I realized he has one of my pens. <laughs> so let's just test all these. This is a Poppin. I really like these pens. Oh, did he use this a lot? He probably used this a lot. He really likes this pen, too. Bye, Poppin. I think it's gone. <laughs> All right. This one is a Bic 1 point. I think it's a ball pen. Oh, Jason. And this is kind of one of the ones I use in my smaller planner. See how that looks. So that one's pretty good. Um, right here when I pressed really hard because it wasn't working. Didn't work too well. But I would say, yeah, these are all pretty similar. So I'm going to pull the, the ones that I think work best to the side. So you know. And there's different colors of this one, by the way. I will try a pink one so you can see if it goes through. Um, what was the other one? This one's a Bic round stick medium test it on here first okay. and then this one you can't really see anymore I think it's like those RSVP ones and it's also a ballpoint Yeah, like, it, again, if you push really hard, you're not going to see them. If you just let it go, you'll only feel if you write hard. So I would say this one's a pretty good one, too. And this one, because it's it's softer, I would say. It's not a... Because this one's more pointy to me. This one's softer. So I would say this one's probably the best type. However, I'm going to try some colors so you can just see. I have a red one and a purple one. Yeah, I would still say it's very light compared to the ones up here. So for these, I would say really much depends on the pen you're using and the pressure you're using. Um, these would be my top choices. At the top would probably be a pencil. And even probably a softer pencil would be an actual pencil. But also, what other ones do I like? This one was pretty good. And these could be good if you don't write really hard. So I would say these are the top in my head. This Bic grip. Um, this regular like Bic round medium and a pencil. And there's different colors for these. So these are all from the same kit. I have like a whole bunch of them. But I can show you any smear tests even though these come through anyway. Let's just do paper mate because that, that happens quite often. 
it smears if you do it very quickly. So, use that for a little. So about five, five seconds is fine. Um, what else? Probably the friction. Let's do that one. Smears right away. This one probably will smear most of all because it is an erasable one. Still smears. So I'm going to go to this page. So this I wrote all in Paper Mate Flares. It's a black, a purple, a yellow. Yellow? Yeah, yellow. And a, like, sky blue. I don't know if you can see it there. I see a little bit of black. And now I'm looking for this because I didn't notice it before. Um, I mean, it's not bothersome to me. I, obviously, you can't see the yellow because you can barely see the yellow on the other side. So I just, I see all of them. If I'm looking for it, I mean, that's, that's just how I feel about that. What I can do is write something that I know is coming up so you can see on the actual pages. Let me think. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to write in pencil. And I'm also going to write... The Bic Grip 1.0. So that's on the monthly view. I can only see it because I wrote really hard in one area. It's a little bit there, but not much. It's kind of like one of those ones you can kind of see it, but if you write on this side too, you prob it probably will cancel each other out. But I can see that it is kind of thin. The paper is smooth. It's just a little bit thin. Let's see what I can see in the camera. You can't really see it much. It, you actually can see the printing on the other side. Let's go to... I'm going to write it on here with an ink joy because those are the pens I actually grab quite often. So I'm going to actually write it with the ink joy. This one I know will smear and I don't want to smear here. it a little bit so my final thoughts on this is it's to me it's still pretty good I do wish it was a little thicker because then I would get rid of a lot of those problems however it's it has so much information in it it's still a pretty good I would say planner and book your safest bet would probably be a pencil which I have no problem I know a lot of people have problems with writing in pencils but a lot of people won't write in their planner and pens because of the it being so permanent and all. But I actually prefer pencils, at least to start with. And then sometimes I'll go over it with the pen. So I personally have no problem with this. If you're a person that needs to have a whole bunch of color, either add stickers or the other thing you could do is search for something that you know won't bleed through. So use one of the, the back ones. These are all the ones I have. So I know all of these kind of go through a little bit. Or eventually your eyes will just adjust and you're probably going to ignore what's behind it. So if that if you already bought it and that bothers you, um, there's two things to do. One, you can adjust to it <laughs> because it's not that it's not that bad. It's um, it's only bad if you use like a Sharpie or any of those heavier ones, like all the ones at the top. Like those are probably the ones that are most annoying, especially these. These are doable to me. If you write really hard, just be mindful of that, especially if you have something on the other side. The other thing you can do is write to the company and see if they can work on getting a, paper, a better paper next year because they are a small business. I believe there's, I want to say there's three people running the business, which is amazing. I love small businesses and feedback to small businesses is really, really vital for them to keep going. 
it to me it's not really fair to just write off a business because they didn't do something right one time or you know anything like that if they get the feedback they will have the opportunity to grow and to change and to adapt to what their audience and what their you know buyers actually do want and what we do need so i'm probably going to be doing that um well most likely i will i just want to make sure that i format that email correctly um because i just want to <laughs> make sure i'm a virgo so sometimes what the first thing i say is not the nicest way to say it i'm just like super direct sometimes so like i have to write it and then soften it <laughs> but anyways that's my weird email process Hey, just jumping in here after I already recorded this. Right after I recorded this, I actually emailed the company saying that I did a pen test and that I was wondering if they had their own recommendations as to which pens or, you know, if they tell me other ways to write in it works. Um, I would greatly appreciate it and I would love to add it to this video. As of now, they haven't answered me yet. I did email them pretty late in the day, so if they do answer me before I post this video, the information will be in the description. If they answer me after, hopefully I will update the description with that information. If you have any other questions, anything else you want me to do with this one, just let me know. And I hopefully the pen test helped you um, decide what to use in here and decide what not to use in here. And yeah, I hope you have a good one.